Hello, welcome to the college dorm room cooking demo. My name is Michelle Hazlitt, the coordinator of Student Wellness for the University, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make delicious and healthy banana nut energy bites right in your own dorm room. Energy bites are a high protein snack, so you get full on less food. They're also packed with nutrition and healthy carbs, which will help you, which will help you focus and increase your energy. If you picked up a bag from us during our Welcome Week event, these are the ingredients you should find in your bag, or if you are following along at a different time, these are the ingredients you will need. Most, if not all, of the ingredients can be found in Panther Grocery. One third cup creamy nut butter. This can be peanut butter, almond butter, or whatever it is you like the best. It'll still be full of protein and help keep your body going. Two tablespoons maple syrup or honey. You can also use agave syrup or coconut flour nectar syrup, but those aren't as easy to find in the grocery store. Two cups rolled oats. Oats are actually naturally gluten-free, which is great if that is something you avoid. They have a lot of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants, so it's a great choice to fill up on. But you can also substitute out the oats for equal amounts of coconut flakes and roughly chopped almonds. One small ripe banana. I have already mashed mine, which I did this morning, so it doesn't look great, which is why I already added it in here. Bananas only stay yellow for so long, <laughs> so that is why I kind of hid it in here, but bananas are full of potassium and vitamins and boost your immune system, digestion, and your recovery. One quarter cup chopped walnuts, or any other nut really, but walnuts have more um, antioxidants, omega-3s, and are great for your brain. A half teaspoon vanilla extract, and just a pinch of salt. So what you're going to do first is want to heat up your nut butter just a little bit. It's a lot easier to mix when it's slightly heated, so I would suggest putting it in the microwave for no more than 30 seconds. Once you do that, you are going to combine your nut butter, your honey or syrup, your banana, which like I said is already pre-mushed and put in there, and your vanilla extract. I like to mix all these ingredients up together first, that way my wet ingredients are evenly distributed once I put my, my dry ingredients in. And then after that, you're going to want to put in your oats, walnuts, and that pinch of salt. While I am stirring, I am just going to go through a couple of extra health and nutrition tips for you. So, many people choose to go with all natural or organic products because they tend to be more nutrient dense. Just keep in mind though, if you choose to go with all natural peanut butter, make sure that it's not too chunky. You're gonna want it to be mostly smooth, that way it acts as a glue that binds all of your other dry ingredients together. So you don't want it to be too chunky and then increase the amount of dry ingredients you have in there. And just a pinch of salt. Organic foods, on the other hand, are foods that are produced without pesticides, fertilizers, or other harmful chemicals. I will be honest with you though, Organic foods tend to be a lot pricier, so it can be hard to be able to afford it all. It is okay if that is not something that is in your budget right now. You can definitely um, get normal ingredients and you can have peace of mind knowing that you are already um, avoiding a lot of the various uh, preservatives and other chemicals that are made or used during production just by making it here at home for yourself. Lastly, a lot of people consider both walnuts and bananas to be superfoods. Superfoods are just foods that have maximum nutritional benefit for minimal calories. So they're really great to fill up on and they're great to include in your diet as much as possible. For example, the antioxidants in walnuts can also help ward off cancer. Once you think it's all nicely mixed, and maybe you won't make as big of a mess as I am, once you think it's all nicely mixed and combined together, what you're going to want to do is wet your hands a little bit, which I'm not going to do, um, wet your hands a little bit and then roll these in your hands into a like little little dough balls about one inch to one and a half inches. Um, it can also be easier if you refrigerate them first. If they're not sticking together too well you can go ahead and add a little bit of coconut oil or water to them as well but just kind of form them into little dough shaped balls right like that. And they should stick together rather nicely. Just like so. They don't have to be perfect, as long as they taste good. And then to store them, you're going to want to put them in an airtight container, so that can be a Ziploc bag, that can be a Tupperware container, whatever really you have at your disposal you can use. And then you will store them in your refrigerator or freezer. 
Nutrition is key to staying focused, keeping a strong immune system, and improving your overall well-being. Keep this in mind even as you get into the semester and start to feel the stress. You will end up doing better in all areas of your life if you take care of yourself.